Hey, what's up everybody? It's Tony from Drinks and Opinions. I was not wanting to do this. I was really trying hard to not do this. And let um, other channels deal with this. But, I felt I had to. And I'm sorry to all of you ahead of time. This is about Star Trek The Card. Before I start, we all know the old saying... Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You won't fool me a third time. And the reason I brought that up, I watched season one of Picard. Absolute train wreck. It was just... Season one of Picard just pissed all over Picard. Exactly what it did. It pissed all over it. It pissed all over the heritage of Star Trek. And all they did was belittle him, berate him, and treat him like crap like... He never did anything good throughout his whole career in Starfleet. And that's about all season one was. Season two, when it first started, the first few minutes, and I painfully watched it again, expecting different results. Again, that's where the shame on them comes into it. Or the shame on me correction comes into this. My fault for watching season two, expecting different results, like I said. Um, season two is just wasn't any better. You know, like I said, at first, the first few minutes, I saw all the ships that they brought in from Star Trek Online. I'm like, okay, we got different Star Trek sh Starfleet ships, finally. Not the copy and paste fleet we had in the first one. On the ugly ship. That just copy and pasted it a hundred times, basically. Um, like I said, watch season two. You know, the beginning, I'm thinking, okay, we're on a Starfleet ship. Maybe they've learned their lesson. They've listened to fans. They've changed things around. I was naive for believing that, and I'll be the first to admit it publicly. I was wrong. Season three. I watched it, and I thought my head was going to explode. It's just... Hold on a second. The reason I say this. I agree with what I saw somebody tweet. Yeah, it's Twitter, but I actually agree with this. Doomcock po said, Picard Season 3 is basically a remake of Star Trek Nemesis. Only in this case, Shinzon has more hair and less charm. A lot of pew-pew, ugly darkness, characters explicitly saying, are these the same people you know? And the answer is, hell no, not even close. You know what? He's right. Absolutely correct. You know, I was looking at it a little bit differently, you know. Not not nice either in any way, but that, actually, when I read that, he's right. Absolutely correct. They remade Nemesis. Nemesis was not that good of a movie. It just was not. I did enjoy the end of it with the battle scene. I won't lie, I did enjoy that. I know some people had issues with Nemesis, with Picard driving the, um... Off-road vehicle. It didn't bother me. I kind of wanted one. You know, but the sentiment I get, and I understand and mostly agree with. But season three, and he's right. It is a remake of Nemesis. But worse. Way worse. All they're doing with Star Trek now, they're shitting on it. They're destroying the history of Star Trek. Everything from Star Trek, the original series... All the way to even Star Trek Enterprise. All good shows in their own right. They all did their own thing. They did them well, for the most part. Continuity issues, but that happens in a lot of shows. And I can overlook that. But this, between Discovery, Star Trek Discovery. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say Discovery. It's not Star Trek, and I don't care what they say. And Picard, I'm not calling it Star Trek, because it's not Star Trek. They took Star Trek and they destroyed it. They pissed on us, the fans. They're destroying everything about it. Wiping all the history of Star Trek out as it never happened and it started with the last three movies. Made by, you guessed it, J.J. Abrams. Mr. Lens Flare. It needs to stop. This is not Star Trek in any way, shape, or form. What they should have done is come up with a whole new space idea and done it that way and they could have done their own thing. That would have been fine. But they are destroying everything we've loved about Star Trek. Wiping all the history out. Changing 
everything. Star Trek was always about inclusivity. You know, accepting people, accepting other races, other life forms. You know, trying to work things out. You know, trying to make battle a last resort. You know, so on and so forth. This is not Star Trek. I did. I almost had it. I had almost got a migraine watching the last trailer for Picard season three. They are pissing on all of us. If you truly ever love Star Trek, do not watch this. This is not Star Trek. They are willfully destroying everything we've loved about Star Trek. Same thing that Disney has done with Star Wars. Destroyed it. Please do not watch this. And I'm really annoyed for whatever reason. I don't know why. And I'm not calling any specific channel out. All these Star Trek fan channels are pimping this movie, TV show. And the same with Star Trek or Discovery. Sorry, it's not Star Trek. My apologies. But they're pimping it. And they're pushing it. Oh, it's going to be different in season three for Picard. You know, they've listened to the fans. They should have listened to the fans from day one and made decent Star Trek. They didn't do it. They don't care about you. They don't care about me as a fan. They don't care about you as a fan. Don't watch this, please. It's not Star Trek in any way, shape, or form. You could throw mud against the wall, slap Star Trek above it, and it'd be damn more entertaining than what they're putting on now. Between Discovery and now Picard... In the last several movies, actually, are not Star Trek. They're wiping it all out. None of it ever happened according to the way they've done everything. It, we have to change all this. What they need to do, sell Star Trek off. Sell the franchise. Find somebody that, at some point, will do something good with it, with good writers, good quality directors. Let it sit for 10 years, at least. Then start working on a new Star Trek series. Do it as a TV show. Not a movie, a TV show. And do it right. But let it sit for 10 years. And that's what they need to do. They're not going to do it. This is not Star Trek. They can slap whatever label they want on it. They're just pissing on us, the fans. And the sad part is, you got people that are Star Trek fans, and I'm not saying they're not. You know, I, I will I will personally say I think they are Star Trek fans. But they're pimping this. Why? Why are so many of these Star Trek, popular Star Trek channels, pimping Picard and pimping Discovery? Why? They push so hard on it. You'll hear them every once in a while start talking, you know, start speaking some truth about either series. Then suddenly they veer off to go back to, oh, let's be nice. Why? And I'm not saying they're getting paid to do it or anything. I'm not one of those people. But are they hoping maybe someday to get somebody from one of these shows on there and interview them? Whatever it may be. I don't know. But please, do not watch this. Walk away from it. And I love Star Trek. Go back. Watch the original series. I've watched the original series. It's just It never resonated with me personally. But I remember that because I was around before. I was born before The Next Generation came out, and I've watched the original series. It just didn't resonate with me. Now, the movies from the characters from the original series is when I got into Star Trek. You know, when they came out with the several movies they came out with. And then um, I watched The Next Generation. Loved it. Now, when I watch it, because of Picard, I got that in the back of my head, thinking what they did to Picard and how bad this has been. It's still in the back of my head, but I still watch it and enjoy it. But it's there. I love Deep Space Nine. Love it. I liked Voyager. I even liked Enterprise. I know some people didn't. I did. Enterprise is better Star Trek than these last two TV shows. Far superior. It is. It's even better than the last couple of movies. Or as I call them, Lens Flare City. You know, if you want real Star Trek, current Star Trek, go rewatch um The Orville. That, that's as close as we've gotten to Star Trek in years, is the Orville. They gave us Star Trek without it being Star Trek. That being said, sorry, I had to make this video because this 
after watching some of these and then this last um, official trailer, I just wanted to throw up in my mouth. I'm not even joking. It made my head start hurting. I just got angry because this is not Star Trek. They're killing Star Trek. They're killing the history of Star Trek. The continuity of Star Trek. The past characters. Look at the next... Look at what's going on now with Picard. They're pissing on all the characters for the most part. They're breaking them down. Now, I don't know how Jordy's going to be in it because we haven't seen him in the first two, obviously. Data they killed off in the um, first season. But what I'm saying is, please don't watch this. It's not Star Trek. They don't care about us as the fans. They don't. Not those of us that grew up with it. All they care about is throwing something out there and slapping a Star Trek label on it. If you want that, go take a dump in a public toilet and put Star Trek over it and it'd still be more entertaining to watch. It's just that simple. I'm just being honest about it. Again, I'm sorry for going off, but I had to get this out. And again, forgive me for the ums. I was just so annoyed and angry talking about this that it came out. And I'm trying to work hard on the ums to not use them. But that being said, please don't watch this. Walk away from it. Start writing them. Tell them to sell it off. And hopefully, hopefully, somebody else will buy the franchise, let it sit for 10 years, find competent, intelligent, creative writers, and even if they don't know Star Trek, they can go back and watch all the different series to get an idea what Star Trek really is. Like I say, with these, Picard, I will say one thing. The cussing didn't bother me. Personally, I didn't really have an issue with that. I don't mind battles. I, we all enjoy a good space battle. That's fine, but it was dark. So dark. There was nothing fun about it. Nothing Star Trek about it at all. So please, walk away from it. Let it go. As far as I'm concerned, if they're going to keep doing this, let Star Trek die. It's already on life support. Pull the plug. Let it go. Go back and watch the original series, The Next Generation, Voyager, Deep Space Nine, Enterprise. And even the movies if you want. I would even take Nemesis over these last couple of movies and these last two series. It was still more entertaining. But that being said, y'all have a great day. I got to go spend the day with my daughter. She turned 18 today. And I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And please take what I said to heart. And think really long and hard about it.